on the coast in the south of France. What have we done? These dumb Americans. <laughs> Maybe we're not in Riviera. <laughs> Tell us where we're at. We look like savages. Whose idea was this? We had come to this beach. Two old gay guys. <laughs> old? 350 meters to the naturist area. No idea there'd be so many people here. Now we're about to enter the naturist zone. All right guys, we made it. We found our spot. Suddenly, we're the only naked people in this area. <laughs> yeah. Fake cheese and muesli. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Nîmes, and we are gonna take our first trip to the Mediterranean. We've so never been to the south of France, and that's where we're staying now. And this will be, like you said, our first time going to a Mediterranean beach. So we're gonna have fun. We're gonna bring you along with us, we're going to a seaside resort town, 45 kilometers south of us here in Nîmes. We are gonna have a blast. So come along with us. We're also being really adventurous today because we're not taking food with us. And if you know anything about us, that's a challenge. We read that there is a vegan pizza somewhere in the town. It is, I believe it is called Le Gros de Roi. So we either find this vegan pizza or we starve today because in France there are not a lot of options at any of the restaurants. So we might be practicing intermittent fasting. Yeah. Oh, that okay. It's like we live in a fortress. <laughs> Okay, and we're off to this train station. We have to walk all the way through Old Nîmes to get to the train station. We took the long way to the train station and now we're gonna run late. <laughs> what is new? We're always like almost missing a train. Look, it's a French bulldog in France. There's the train station right there. made it to the train station with like eight minutes to spare, we think. Now we just gotta find out where to go. We're looking for track B. B is in Bonsoir. a very popular destination especially on hot days like today yeah it's supposed to be like 95 degrees Fahrenheit here first impression is that this could be a beach town anywhere yeah <laughs>
So yeah, this looks like a very, you know, family oriented and touristy beach that we're standing in front of right now. We're gonna go find another beach that's supposed to be bigger than this. It's a little bit more natural. A little more natural. And it's because it's not in the actual town like this one is. Yeah. Okay guys, we found our spot on the beach. We ended up actually going to that city beach that we, we were gonna try to find a different one. Turns out it's really, really far away. So we found a spot to pop down and it's really nice here. It's definitely more of a family type beach. That other larger beach, which is uh, five kilometers away, which is just over three miles, we think we're going to come back and try to hit that beach because um, we found out that there is a clothing optional section. So we may take the train back here and then get a car, like an Uber, for the ride out there. And it'll probably be impossible to get a car back, so we'll probably just plan on walking back here. That's going to take a little bit more planning, though. Okay, so we spent some time on the beach here. We're getting hungry. Yeah, so we're gonna go find that, that we're gonna try to find that plant-based pizza, because um, we have no food and there's really nowhere else to get anything. <laughs> yeah. And then, because um, we discovered there's a nature's beach like five kilometers away, we think we're gonna go do that. So stay tuned. That's gonna be a little bit later on in this video. Okay, we're walking to find this plant-based pizza. It's at a place called Go Snack. Go Snack. Let's go snack. We're gonna go snack. We think this is it. Vegan pizza. Let's try it. Vegetarian or vegan? Vegan. No cheese. No cheese. I don't think this is the full French Riviera experience, but it's nice. <laughs> Because we're very particular in what we will eat. <laughs> in France, that's a challenge because this is a very meat and cheese centric place. Are we found food? Which is good. Okay, we got our pizza and I think it's gonna be good. Look. With hot sauce. What kind of spicy hot sauce? Basically, uh, they don't have vegan cheese, so it's basically a uh, pizza no cheese, which works for me. How about you? Yeah, excellent. I'm good. I have pizza. So that bridge we just crossed. Um, the pivot bridge. It's a pivot. Doesn't raise. It just looks like this. Seems to be a little nicer on this side of it. So on the north side of town, there's a whole other beach that we didn't even know about. You guys, we somehow stumbled into this market called Super U, and it is massive. It, it feels like we're back in the States right now. Like, that type of selection. Yeah. First time we've experienced that in Europe. And of all places, on the coast, in the south of France. Like, they have our cheese. They have our plant-based cheese that we cannot find in anywhere in Nîmes, any of the grocery stores. Like they have zero cheese alternative products. It's here on the coast in the south of France. Even though we have like two hours to our train and an hour train ride, it's not dairy, so it doesn't really go bad. So we don't have to worry about it too much. This entire section is all plant-based. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. We so, have no idea what this car is, but we're going to show you. Cutest little car I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, we won't. There are so many tiny cars in Europe, of course, but I've never seen one like this. Cool, right? All I know, awesome. all I know is that it's a Citroen brand. Yeah, it's super cool. Is that a one-seater? Maybe it's so. two? I don't Maybe know. It's two. hard to see from here. We can't, we can't get close to it. It's behind a fence. So I spotted this bench right next to the canal and it, we decided to sit down and I instantly thought of the birdcage when Robin Williams and Nathan Lane are sitting at the bench and... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember that? No. Anyway, 
here we are, two old gay guys. <laughs> old? Two gay guys <laughs> Who sitting are you in the south old? of France in the sunshine on a bench, <laughs> looking at the boats. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? It's a marching band. Okay, so I have to say, after spending some time here. Du the Gros Roi. Du Roi. There you go. Something like that. Okay, this is just an observation. But I feel like we have come to the Virginia, Virginia Beach, Virginia, as far as beach towns go. <laughs> it's a little bit like that, yeah. If I you know, agree. if you've been to Virginia Beach, Virginia, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, the ocean is nice. There are some nice things around, for sure. But just overall, not what I would envision as like a, this fantastic place to go visit on the French Riviera, but you know it's what it's what's near to us, and it's where the train will take us. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only beach that we can get to by train. So. Yeah. So short of renting a, a car, um, which we're not really looking to do here while we're here. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually not it because we're gonna, we are going to come back and explore some other areas. We're going to go to. Um, Montpellier. Montpellier and explore those areas too. Yeah. Coming up. And I just want to add that. I'm not trying to criticize this area at all. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. It sounds bad too, right? Um, it's not a bunch of Ferraris and Lamborghinis well, and big multi-million dollar yachts. Not that, that's all, not that that's what we were looking for, of course. But, yeah. um, just when I hear, you know, the south of France and the French Riviera. I just always envision something else, and we have not found that Maybe yet. we're not in the Riviera. Maybe, Maybe this yeah. is not part of it. Maybe technically this is not part of the French Riviera. If you know, let us let us know. Comment on this video. Yeah. School us. Educate us. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where we're at. Tell us you guys didn't do your research. <laughs> like we said, you know, it's what's near us and it's where the train will take us without it being like a big ordeal to get somewhere else. And, uh, we have enjoyed our time here for sure. Yeah, and we're gonna come back and do some more exploring. Yes, this is what we do. We're living in Nîmes for 30 days. Uh, we have the rental there for a full month, and we're gonna make the most of it and kind of explore that city a little bit, and then kind of offshoots from there. And that, this is one of them. And as you may have seen, our space is just fantastic. We absolutely love the Airbnb that we're in. Yeah, they did a really nice job. Yeah, in fact, we there are days where we don't even leave. <laughs> Yeah, because it know, has AC. Yeah, one. And, and it's, it's really very hot. hot down here. It's very warm down here, and um, and it's not that we don't we do leave. It's just we're working and you know we're living there full time. We're not on vacation. Yeah. Hey guys, it's actually a whole nother day. That's right. We cut our uh, trip to Le Gros de Roi. Le Gros de Roi. Le Gros de Roi. <laughs> Um, we cut it short because we were, we really wanted to go to the nature's beach and we didn't have time that day and um, now we're back. So now we're back on a whole other day. Now we're headed straight to the beach. That's right, after we get some water. Yeah, we have to stop at the store right across the street here and grab a couple of jugs of water because I guess there's really nothing out at the beach where we're going to. So we're gonna, we're gonna grab the water and we're gonna try to catch an Uber that will take us out there. And it's like five kilometers. So we may have to walk back, but we didn't want to have to walk both directions. Yeah. So we're going to try to get a car and we'll see how that goes. We put our location in on uh, Uber and where we're going. It's actually on the map, but no driver has picked it up. Like, they don't want to pick us up here. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why. I don't think they see our destination. Um, until they accept it. Maybe they do. Maybe it's changed. I don't know. Maybe they don't want to drive out to the beach. Yeah, who knows? Never had a Uber request to take this long for a driver to pick up. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope they do. <laughs> so we're going to see how far it is to actually walk. Yeah. Hour and 49 minutes. 
Oh my god, it's 8.9k. Jesus. That's far. Yeah, so Scott's saying we should walk. It's basically five plus miles. Other than like one way. hailing down a stranger and paying them. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not gonna good fly well, actually. How do we know unless we try? <laughs> Maybe we'll walk back to the train station, which is not far. We'll see if there's a cab. And maybe they'll be more willing to pick us up from there. Or maybe there's an actual taxi. Although we didn't see anyone when we got off the train. Okay, so Uber did finally cancel the request because they couldn't find anybody for us. So we're walking toward the train station, which is maybe, what, a quarter mile? And we actually just saw a cab driving down the road, but he wasn't near us. They had a light on his sign. We don't know if that means he's available or not available. I would think it means he's available. Right? Yeah. Okay, we made it to the train station. There are zero taxis around. Um, so we're gonna try to request an Uber again from here. This is saying, I guess I requested something called Uber Green, and it says limited availability. Maybe that was the problem. So now we'll just do Uber X. It's almost the same price. It says it's 15 minutes away. Let's try it. Yes, we're at the train station. Confirm pickup. Oh, we got it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. He says he's 19 minutes away. <laughs> oh, it's a Tesla. Cool. He knows English and French. That helps. Helps me. <laughs> okay, we're making progress, but now we have yeah. to stand here for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's better, better than, than walking two hours. Yeah. <laughs> almost two hours, I said. With probably three would. gallons of water. Yeah, so probably would. We probably would. We'd probably ditch one if we had to do that. <laughs> So we finally got on the right track and I think there was a uh, entry station that they let us through because we're being driven, which was unexpected because there's another 1.5 kilometers to go, I guess. We would have walked that, but she was nice enough to let us through. Beep, beep. Eh oui, tu m'entends pas. On dit cul nu. Les nudistes, vous avez entendu déjà cette expression Non, à poil, mais. À poil, cul nu. Vous connaissez le cul, les fesses, back, cul nu. Finish. Super. Merci. Here we are. Welcome. Thank you so much. That was an adventure, yeah. Yes. That was quite the adventure getting here. 350 meters to the naturist area, apparently. Wow, this beach is really busy. Very busy. I no idea there'd be so many people here. Yeah, it's a hot day. Yeah. So our drive here turned into a <laughs> tour of some of the farmland. <laughs> We were getting like three different ways to get here via car from different map apps. Finally figured it out. The guy ended up using his Tesla map, which seemed to be the most accurate. Anyway, we got here. Now we're gonna go find the naturist area and enjoy the day. Yeah. yeah. Apparently that sign means that we're about to enter the nature zone, so we will not be filming that until we're like settled somewhere. And then we should be able to. Yeah. But not as we're walking in, I don't want to do that. People yeah. feel weird about it.
right guys, we made it. We found our spot, this is our first spot on the beach. It's hot, we're having a wonderful time. The sea is beautiful, the sky is very clear. It's gonna be a wonderful day. It's pretty busy here. This beach is way larger than I thought. I read a lot of comments online about it, like on Google reviews and such, and some people are complaining how small the nature section is. I don't think it is at all. No, it's, it's, it's very, very large. Um, I mean, it's not like, it's not as large as say Black's Beach in California or anything like that, but it's probably half that size easily, I would say. Yeah. Very, very busy. Lots and lots of people everywhere. Uh, we kind of picked a spot in the middle uh, between kind of groups of people so that we could film just a little bit without making anybody you know, uncomfortable. like we've reached the end there are um, more nature's close area people. yeah suddenly it's just nothing but people in clothes we're the only naked people in this area <laughs> yeah so we're gonna head back the other way yeah it's way larger than i ever thought and much more crowded i'm sorry we can't bring in more footage of yeah. what's going on we could barely record in in the areas because there was just people everywhere um enjoying nature in them all right so we're gonna turn around and we are gonna go back Okay, we're finally leaving the beach. That was a great day, really nice. People are still coming in droves. It's like three o'clock. Perfect day for a beach. We might have to walk back to the train station, which is like, how many kilometers did we say? I don't remember. Like nine kilometers, I think. <laughs> we're gonna try once we get to a more populated area, to get an Uber and see how that goes. Bought plenty of water, that's for sure. We bought three gallons. We drank one and a half, maybe. I always think it's better to have way too much water than not enough on a day like this. Especially not knowing how far we have to walk in the heat, in the sun. We're kind of hoping somebody offers us a ride. <laughs> you never know. You never know. A hitchhike, we don't, I don't know how that's done in France. If that's even a thing, you know. There are just shitloads of people here. Like that beach was incredibly busy, including the the non-naturist area. Yeah. It was just just packed. What have we done? Oh my God, we had to come to this beach. We got here, no problem. Well, slight problem, but we ended up coming, getting here, and now we have to get back. That's the hard part. It's not hard if you are gonna walk. <laughs> Put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, it's like and it's easy. five or six miles. Right. It's like 95 degrees. Oh, jeez. The hottest part of the day, too, we have to leave because we have a train to catch. Scott said we look like savages walking through the parking lot barefoot. Nope. No shirts on. We're still walking. We're on the bike path that goes into town, I think. So maybe up here somewhere we'll be able to get it to a spot where we can actually try to hail an Uber. But we have no internet connection here. No cell phone service. So, yeah, we don't know. We might be sleeping in the shrubs tonight. Yeah, right. These people keep passing us on their bikes going towards the beach. And they're like, where are these dumb Americans? <laughs> where are they going? <laughs> There is nothing for miles and miles on this bike path. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Yeah, yours. Whoops. <laughs> okay, finally got service on my phone. 
From here it's 5.5 kilometers, which is about three and a half or like 3.75 miles, I think. You know what would also be nice up in here? Some shade. There's no shade anywhere. It's just like a wide open path. Tiny, tiny little spot right here, some shade. Good place to take a break. The shade, the only shade in. Look at an old Citroen car. It's funny. Flamingo in Flamingo. France. Who knew? Yeah, it's so cool to see it like in the wild. Yeah, they're kind of pink. Awesome news, we found a driver to come pick us up. So exciting. So this way we'll be able to catch an earlier train, get back earlier than we had planned. Really cool. We might even get to go out to dinner tonight. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Because it was going to be like another hour, 20 minutes of walking in the sun to get to the train station. No fun. There he is. Our Uber has arrived. Hi there. Station? Yes, thank you. Can, we, um, can you drop us at the grocery store just past that Super U? Yep. The big one? Thank you very much. So you go to Super U? Yes. Go to the train station. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Okay. Sorry. We made it to the grocery store, got some fake cheese, and muesli. So we had like an extra 45 minutes since we were able to catch that Uber. And we're still taking the early train, which is awesome. So we'll get back to Nîmes way earlier than we originally planned. That's beautiful. We're going to stop at another store after we get off the train in Nîmes, find our favorite dessert. <laughs> <laughs> It's like this, this, this chocolate mousse that's just to die for. Non-dairy. We thought we had a half an hour to get here from the grocery store. We actually have almost an hour. <laughs> we have 50 minutes to sit here and wait for the train. On the floor, on the ground, because there's no benches. That's the only place for shade. So. There you go. Like that, we're back in mean. Get three. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> so I saw this bench. <laughs> <laughs> 